Hey, uh, why I don't need to do that? It's been the first time since I've used a model again, and I'm gonna say the reason why. The reason why is it's actually pretty difficult to record Minecraft footage without a model. Well, for me, because I like to like zoom in on myself when I'm talking, like in Terraria. Unfortunately, when I'm in Minecraft, I have to do this. I have to do this like every fucking second, like every every other fucking Minecraft YouTuber. Yeah, I know. I'm a dude, but hey, I like women, and that's my reasoning. Also, if my model keeps like constantly blinking, that's because I'm a fucking Asian, and I I can't keep my eyes like open like this. Like my default eyes is like this. Like my other fucking videos, this is not gonna be a fucking acid trip where I just say everything in like 10 minutes and we're done. In this video, I'm gonna be using my command block knowledge. I'm pretty rusty on it. What I wanna do is, by reading from the title, I want to make a very functional Five Nights at Freddy's map. For those that have actually played with me on my PS4 worlds, uh, they know that my Five Nights at Freddy's maps, it's usually a multiplayer focused map with other people. And that's what this is gonna be. This is gonna be like a mini game for people to get their roles in and hopefully hang out. But of course, this is not gonna be on the world download, this is my personal world. Anyway, let us get started. The first thing we have to do is the door system what i want is a lever there probably a button on the, the bottom or another lever this one controls lights and this one controls the door so we're gonna do some command block magic the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna look at this lever and we're gonna go uh the coordinates of the lever i fucking forgot let's try east It matched it, but... Oh! Oh! Wait. Okay, so it didn't connect, and it connected, okay? Let's go put that in a command block. Yeah, okay. It's working, okay. Now, we need a chain of command blocks. It doesn't have to be really complicated. It can be really simple. I just need a chain of command block. One, two three command blocks for the door closing because i want an animation here like instead of the door like closing instantly like that i want the door to like close like first block here second block here then third block here i want an animation with sound and so that's where, what we're gonna do next if we did it correctly I want like going up to be faster though. Let's see that happen. We need a good sound effect though. What's a good sound effect for retracting pistons? Is this gonna sound good in question? In theory. That actually that doesn't sound bad. Yeah, that does not sound bad. Okay. I just remembered something and my stupidity shows itself on it once again. I need dun -dun -dun -dun. I need a block of gold there you are i need uh, between this comparator i need a block of gold and then wait, wait my, my mind just went blank okay what what i'm trying to aim for is i'm sorry i did not explain to you i'm trying that works i'm trying to make a power system so what my goal is this gold block will retract either to the top or to the side which cuts off the redstone and then what my plan is when the redstone is cut off it's going to be like the power outage where the door automatically juts upwards and you would need to restart the power system just so you could activate it again in theory if I did this correct, it would still work. It didn't- oh, 
for I'm fucking stupid, bro. I'm stupid. I forgot the fucking torch. I'm such a fucking dumbass. I'm so fucking stu- Wait. There's a problem with that, I think I need to change that like that. Okay. This in theory activates it, but if I remove this cold block, oh my god! Okay, so what's gonna happen? I'm gonna explain it again. This piston will be tied to a random room here, which I'm gonna assign to be a power room or a generator room. And in that generator room, you can reactivate power just in case you eaten all of it. One one of my plans is at least putting a power bar here or here. And when it drains, the wa the door will automatically retract. And if you activate, oh wait, there's a problem. There's a fucking problem. I just realized. If the guard is outside while restoring power, and the door is still raised, and the power gets restored, they're gonna be locked out of the fucking room. Shit. Okay, I'm. Uh, th that's a problem for future me. Anyway. That's the door powering done. Now it's for the lights. And as I remember, it actually works. So the lights is actually, uh, and the lights are going to be a bit more basic. Okay, so if it's activated and power runs out, it's gone. Power goes back on. Okay, next stop from what we're going to do. Since we have the basic ass system, I need to put some uh, events. What I'm planning is you have a chance of being locked out of the fucking room if you kept the door on. Uh, I want you to actually still be able to get inside the room without have, having a full risk of just locking yourself out. If you're thinking, oh, wh 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 why would you put a fucking vent? Won't the animatronics just get in randomly? The thing is, me and my friends, when I made like the previous Five Nights at Freddy's maps that I did in my world, we always had a gentleman's agreement and would always, always play by that rule. Just in, so, just so everybody actually enjoys playing this. And that gentleman's rule is, if you're like in front of a door, like for here for example, if you're in front of the door, you will wait at most 15 seconds and at least like 10 seconds, 7 seconds, something like that. It depends on the character that they're playing. And for so far, most of my fucking worlds, everybody has to stick to that role. Like everybody always wait waited that second. Even if not everybody counts the same, it still ap applies to it. Also, if you're thinking, 15 seconds is a bit long. Like, take note, this is with other people. Usually, we play it by four people or by five people even. So, that many animatronics at once, that, that 15 seconds will save you. That will fucking aid you as shit. Now, as I'm done explaining the, the basics of it, I want... Should I put a vent here? Not pro Probably not in this corner, but here. I could put a vent there, which connects to the office right here. It's, it's, it's a bit slow, but you're climbing through a fucking vent, so it's fine. As every fucking Five Nights at Freddy's ever, we're not gonna leave the vent blank like that. Because it, uh, we need some use for that type of vent. What I'm thinking, though... What I'm thinking, though... Simple that. Simple trapdoor. The thing is, that's also quite a problem since if you accidentally lock yourself out and you kept that close 
you're fucked. You're, you're absolutely fucked. Well, yeah, I I don't need to fix that problem now because at that point, if you lock yourself out with the vents and the big door, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> let's, let, let's just be fucking honest. If you lock yourself out with the big door and the vent, you're a moron. Now, since I've actually used this part of the wall now, can use this part of the wall as the power system. It's gonna be a standard grid power system. Red, orange, yellow, and lime. As you can see from the design of this, this is gonna go from green to red in terms of power. And if you drop to red, I think you should start worrying and start returning back the power i have to also explain the power system what's gonna go throughout the round the more you close this the more you open this and i'm probably gonna add another feature here the more you do that the power will slowly drain as it as through it's let's grab a hopper it's like this the power is kept in hoppers which are locked to redstone the hoppers will slowly drain the fucking items which counts as a power so the shorter the, the drains are the lower your powers are and when you reach red that's basically your last hopper with items and after that you're gone there's no more power what the guard can do uniquely in my version of the game is you can actually return power mid game of course since you're gonna be in the fucking uh, war zone with the fucking animatronics it's gonna be dangerous as hell as you can literally instantly get killed by animatronics that are running around but the good thing is the animatronics i don't give the animatronics like insta kills like actual five nights of freddy's the animatronics have weapons and depending on their character they can attack either swiftly or slowly so that's a good plus for survivability of the guard it's it's like an actual video game by the way it's a it's like an actual video game so after when you go outside of the office risk yourself from the animatronics you can manually restore power back and give you full even like at 3 a 3 a.m you could restore your power back to full and you're fine and of course this has no like power creep of course you can literally just keep this closed when it went to half you can just go and reset it again the thing is the power creep heavily depends on how stupid the animatronic players are if they don't actually keep guard off the generator area and then just lets the guard return back the power of course they're fucking stupid and they're letting the guard win oh yeah if you're wondering yes the animatronics can guard the area over there the power room of course the cost to that if they're actively guarding it is there's less enemies for the police guard to worry about for here i have a plan now we're on to the part where I explain my animatronic characters. I'm gonna explain that first of all. One, there's going to be one animatronic, which is the default one, the most basic of basic, which just goes through one door. That's it. And second animatronic is an animatronic that will show up right at the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. An animatronic that shows up at that door and then progressively gets closer if the guard does not deal with them the animatronic will break the glass if it breaks the glass two times every other fucking animatronic can get inside the office which results in of course a guard's death third type of animatronic music box puppet a puppet type of animatronic another one a range animatronic just just a, a, more troubles for when you're going outside and a fifth one is gonna be this is gonna be the foxy since i ex explained the bad guys up next is the camera system unlike every other five nights of reddish maps since i have access to command blocks i can actually perform a camera so let's say let's grab the coordinates of this block and then coordinates of this block over here if i pick that and then go to camera 
and then Ikramatsu, and then set Minecraft free facing position boom facing and boom boom you see that you see that that is the camera system of course we can clear that to return back that is what i'm going to do as the camera system in this game because it's an actual working system and because of that there's a foxy animatronic there's 100 percent always going to be a foxy animatronic and that's that's the core vibe i'm thinking maybe i'll add more bad guys maybe i'll remove some for this window bad guy we need something we need something that would counter the window bad guy and there's actually multiple ways we can think of that first of all we can think of like a five nights at freddy's 2 thing it can we, we can do a five nights at freddy's 2 thing but it only counters that one bad guy and through that wait what you can put your camera through glass what the fuck what the fuck Fuck. I did not know that. If the bad guy there sees us wearing the mask, he'll be repelled and say, That's another animatronic. Why would I attack? What the fuck is that? Then the bad guy there will be like, Ah, that's just another fucking animatronic. Let's just move on. That's the idea. Or. It could be a flashlight system where there could be a but button here which will drain power but will put the light over there. Yeah, let's do that. Instead of like a mask, let's be honest, people will just be fucking stupid or clumsy enough in the heat of battle to just, to, to, just, to just properly put on a mask. Okay, so I'm back. That actually, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest, that used uh, my actual brain power and I was fucking blank. I was literally fucking dumb. Okay, I rearranged it so it's going to, during power outage, I want it to be off by default. So I've, made, I've inverted this output here and then when there's no power, like this block here, this on default will turn off and if there's power this will turn on okay i think i need to remove actually the ticks uh, it doesn't really make sense for a flashlight to activate near for i mean yeah near first before far um, all flashlights I've, I've used are quite instant. Okay, let's test it out. It should be instant. I love that. I love that. Okay. I, I want a flashlight model though. There we fucking go. All that work for this. It's still worth it. I really don't give a shit. It's still fucking worth it. It actually looks like a good flashlight. Let's see it work. <laughs> oh my god, I, f I love this. Sh I love like this part of Minecraft where I can just create. Okay, now that I have this, I can start placing the cameras but i have to think of the system first or else i'm fucked okay so in theory it's just gonna be like this a, a block command block is here it will detect whichever thing it is on so it's like this this is the first one let's say it's here what's gonna happen in is redstone comparator takes the power from this one which puts it here and then the repeater will take that power and then push it to following command blocks now that's 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 fine because what i'm planning is there will be one command block that does the teleporting of the camera 
your camera is going to move to the location but there's going to be a timer which returns your character back to where you are which in theory should be just this just just this small the problem the uh, if you're if you're wondering why can't i just go as long as i want on cameras well the thing is it's hard to do i tried to do that back in the day but it's just quite difficult so our timer between the cameras for like uh, at least a three second timer on the camera could be a is a, is a good way to time yourself on on the cameras i don't want the people to be just permanently on the camera but i'll probably find a way in the future for you to manually close and open the camera for now it's just gonna be like that it's just a timer all right so i have made quite the job the button now if i press this boom I get teleported to the location. Well, my camera gets teleported. My character still stands here, but it's now for two seconds. So you have time to just exit immediately. And if you want to look again, you can just keep pressing the button. All right, I have actually, I have spent like 30 minutes or even an hour or so perfecting this and also done the vent system so we don't have to worry about that for the camera system i level them all here and then these are all the cameras i adjusted them a bit because there were some bugs so let's get to it east bathrooms animation east dining entrance east stage Backstage kitchen. Wait. Oh wait, no, that just backstage. And this is kitchen. Storage. Uh, storage. Lounge. Of course, I'm gonna fill up the rooms later. Open area. Uh, employees' bathroom. West Stage West Hall Party Room 1 Party Room 2 West Bathrooms and West Dining that's that's all the cameras for now also yes this one is for reminding me something that's, uh, uh, actually it took me a while but i'm kind of proud of all of them i was also thinking of kind of like putting like camera uh, armor stands on those locations but i was like thinking maybe it's a bit too much and it might lag the game if it's a bit too much armor stands so i just didn't put it there they're just invisible so yeah, that's the camera systems and it, yeah, I'll figure out a way to put out the gold so it won't activate during lockdown, I mean power outage mode. Now, the next things we're gonna do, lockdown mode, toxicity bar. Lockdown mode is basically for a specific enemy that, uh, that enemy you will randomly see on the place and if you see him, your goal is to basically uh, enter lockdown mode so the office is gonna be in lockdown everything will shut off and then uh, yeah your toxicity will rise but if you you can peek again if the enemy is still there if it's not there then you can you're free to go also on lockdown mode everything is closed so in realist in a realistic sense you're gonna run out of oxygen which is the toxicity bar for the power system, very very simple. I just explained it earlier. It's about this one. Music box, self-explanatory. Final designs and characters will be for later. So let's go lockdown mode. All right, I have thought about the lockdown mode a little bit, and I've already started a little bit because I don't wanna make you guys wait during my time of thinking. So. I already have the idea plan. Now this lever 
powers that thing at the bottom and uh, what these two command blocks are wait well this one plays the sound effect this one uh turns all of these gold into uh air and what their purpose is is to stop the fucking things from working and locking it down during lockdown no nothing is allowed to be usable so that's the plan what I'm planning, this glass gets replaced by something harder to break, which I have tinted glass. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. I can place tinted glass there. So it's... What, what block is that? Uh, light gray? Light gray stained glass, okay. Let's try it again. Hey, okay. Okay, I need a sound effect. Preferably a piston. Uh, I just don't know the sound of a piston. Let's see. <laughs> Alright. First part of lockdown is actually done, and I couldn't be happier. That is lockdown, and disabling lockdown. Yes, I'm gonna leave this be because you can just freely turn it off and on. Okay, thank you. Now, welcome guys back to the map. And as you can see from the entrance, I've actually finished the entrance now. You can see there's some chairs, I can sit on it, and it's quite fun. Okay, of course, there's a bell on this, I don't know, the reception desk, I think. Oh, sorry for the bit of lag. Opening the reception room's door or entrance. There are you are greeted with two hallways. One hallway is the east side and one hallway leads to the west side. Let's visit the east side first. I designed this quite basically. I just grabbed the picture of the first Five Nights at Freddy's map and just did the tables and chairs. And this one is a mixture of Five Nights at Freddy's 2 with the prize corner. And this one is the cat the carousel. It's a bit unique in design, but hey, we take those. This is a pretend machine for the carousel. Although, sorry for the lag spikes. This is a chair for the prize counter. And this is the music box. These are some arcades, and these are the bathrooms. I, I'm not gonna show every fucking bathroom because they're almost exactly the same. But I'll, I'll, what I will show you is the music box. Take a listen. Ahem. Take a listen. If you're a cultured person, you would know what the hell that tune was. That tune can basically loop throughout the whole night, and while the night guard is playing on, you, you can hear that in the background. These are the three characters. Um, please don't judge me by the names. I named them at the last minute. So here's Asfi, Kire, or Kair, and Nana. Uh, yeah, I, they, they're just basic ass names that I've thought of. Let's go to the East Hallway. The East Hallway has the kitchen to one of its sides. Just a simple good old kitchen with a freezer. Out, outside of the kitchen, and go, when going through the hall to the left again, 
is the employees lounge area and y you know this is where employees hang out and shit for this side this is just the backstage and storage this is filled with important gameplay things this also leads to both hallways and stages I mean not both hallways and stages but just stages continuing on this is the office and to this side you can see the office is pretty packed up I put on a an upper side more for a ceiling vent which if you press this lever this locks this lower vent and enables that on so it's kind of like a switch up thing this lantern will help you walk through the dark so please return it this is just for when you're gonna return the power there's some food in these barrels and this this is a important gameplay tip for later of course here are the cameras and here is the new power bar well newly designed power bar still works this is the employees restrooms this is the manager's office this is the open area it's a bit simple but hey it exists this is party room 2 I think and this is party room 1 over here now we're on the west dining area you can see it's quite identical to the other one here's another animatronic FEMA and going here is the bathroom to the corners and of course it loops back to the start now that I've shown you everything for the building I'll show you what's under the building this goes to the back rooms well more like the underground area and this is where everything important lies this button starts the night these are areas for the characters and where they reside in. This is a rule book filled with all the th rules and things that you need to learn about this mini game. And I'll, I'm just gonna, you know, leave it uh, at least for 5 seconds and you just pause it if you want. Now that you've read the rules, or at least no context behind it, I guess, through the rules, the characters themselves have their own personalities and behaviors. For this one, Asfi, here is his book. Feel free to pause it. Now, for Nana. Here's one for Kire or Kair. Here's one for Fima. Here's one for Glint. Uh, yeah, Glint and these other three are not shown upstairs because they're more underground type of characters, I guess. Here's Pomrad. And then finally, Echo. One thing that I have to show you guys is Echo's special ability. Echo actually contains something unique to him compared to everybody else. So let's grab a pig and a weapon. If I equip Echo's tag, which will activate his abilities on me, and I put a pig near me, the pig will be slowed. The pig will also contain blindness, so while you're playing as Echo, you will blind the night guard, except like the animatronics, you can't blind the other animatronics. Another special thing is, the animatronics actually have their own starting point if you read the book and depending on the tag you equip that's where you'll spawn when you press this start night button 
right now I'm not really tagged as anything yet so there's nothing that I would be teleported to that's everything in this building I spent like a day two days in total if you count all of my playtime and yeah that's the whole building I hope you guys liked it and Unfortunately, this is not gonna be used outside of this video because I have no friends to play this with.